I did not expect this one side effect when I became a strict carnivore. shake and bacon i hope you're doing well so being strict carnivore had some unexpected side effects uh, this one was definitely for the positive but before i get into that i just want to talk about my squat challenge i'm doing so it's 10 squats every 45 minutes for an eight and a half hour window the goal of that is to not be a form of exercise through the day, but just activity, activity to lower your blood sugar. So if you're dealing with a weight stall or you're dealing with a high blood sugar or insulin resistance of any kind, diabetes or pre-diabetes, this is the type of exercise routine you need, more of an activity routine that you need that helps to eat into your blood sugar throughout the day. That in turn helps manage your insulin. So this is a challenge I've given myself and lots of people are following along. Now I'm starting a membership for my YouTube channel. It's been more involved than I realized it would be. So my apologies for any of you who are out there. I've been reading the comments, but for any of you who are out there who wanted to become a member to this channel, uh, just to help support me and also just to be a member of a group of people doing this, I want you to know I haven't forgotten about setting up a membership and I've been reading your comments. I'm going to have it ready for August. So for any of you who want to join the YouTube membership in this channel to help support me and the channel, uh, I really appreciate that. But you don't have to if you want to join along in this challenge. You can still do this challenge on your own. You just won't be part of this group. But I highly recommend you give this a shot. 10 squats every 45 minutes for an eight and a half hour window throughout the day. Some people may need to modify it here or there, depending on their work schedule, but overall, it's an extremely easy schedule. It's proven to work better at lowering your blood sugar than a 30 minute walk a day. So as far as this unexpected benefit I got becoming strict carnivore, I didn't realize it at first. It's something that has happened over time. And it's quite surprising because when you're outside a lot, which in all fairness, I haven't been as much this year, but I've noticed this over the last few years, being a strict carnivore, helps keep your blood sugar in balance. And one of the side effects that's the craziest side effect I did not expect when I became carnivore is I don't get mosquito bites anymore. If I get one mosquito bite a year, that's pretty outrageous for me. I just don't get them anymore. And I used to get mosquito bites probably about just as much as anybody else out there. You spend enough time outside, you go for a nature walk, you're out there in the mornings and in the evenings, especially in the evenings when mosquitoes are more active, you're just gonna kind of get bitten alive. And since I've become strict carnivore, it just hasn't been an issue. I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't think it has anything to do with my age. I don't think it has anything to do with the city I live in because I've been living in this city virtually my whole life. I would assume, and this is clearly just my assumption, that having a more regulated blood sugar and very stable blood sugar doesn't make me as attractive to mosquitoes as it would for someone else who has normally higher blood sugar. This isn't something I can back up at all, but it's something I've noticed. Have any of you out there noticed the same thing? Do you get mosquito bites as often as you used to now that you're strict carnivore? So the thing with strict carnivore is uh, it's difficult for people to be strict all the way. So I, like I always say, I don't have a lick taste of bite of anything off a carnivore diet. I will have uh, something medicinally though. So if I need to take um, some natural supplement that is like a, I don't know, celery extract for gout, something I used to take a long time ago. If I started getting gout attacks, I probably wouldn't hesitate to take that again. I will have tea some evenings to help me sleep, a chamomile tea. As far as any sweeteners or anything goes off of a carnivore diet, I don't do it. I don't get carbohydrates at all. I don't get vegetables in my diet at all. The closest I come to it would be literally like Kelly Hogan says, water poured over tea leaves. Still drink the water, I don't eat the tea leaves. So to me, this is rather fascinating because mosquito bites are something that can be very annoying. And when I'm out with a bunch of other people and they're all complaining about mosquito bites and they're like, oh, this is getting really ridiculous. I can feel them just biting me alive. I don't get mosquito bites. It's a really nice thing. I used to always get mosquito bites. Now I don't. And I'm genuinely interested if any other strict carnivores out there have noticed this, or even people who do carnivore to a very serious level, but they're not 100% strict. Have you noticed the difference? Do you still get mosquito bites as much as you used to? 
I find it quite fascinating. And we're just going to end with a little bit of an update after my surgery. So I had open heart surgery about two and a half months ago and my scar opened up after about four and a half weeks, like a zipper got infected and I had a vac system to initially close that wound a little bit. And then I finally got the doctors to just drop that. And I went to just regular staples. So they stitched the inside of my chest and then they stapled the skin closed and I'm just healing from that. I'm hoping to be back to work in the next couple of weeks to few weeks. Uh, it's been pretty difficult being off work all this time, but it just is what it is. So you can't speed up healing too much. Actually, I think you can speed up healing to a certain degree. So doing the squat challenge, I've noticed some benefits and a few drawbacks, to be honest. Uh, my legs are a lot more tired throughout the day. Not that they're tired. There's no glycogen left in the muscles. So my legs have a bit of weakness to them. I feel more muscle and strength in my legs. But uh, when I take the initial first few steps up a flight of stairs, I feel like an old man. And that's not me being sore. It's just a lack of energy within the muscle. And that's a good thing. It's like becoming construction worker strong. You do it long enough and your body adapts to it and it becomes easy. But I've been doing something to up my challenge. And every week I've been adding an extra squat to each set. So on week two, I went up to 11 squats every 45 minutes for an eight and a half hour window. Week three, 12 squats. And I have up to 14 squats every 45 minutes. So I want to keep a little bit of a challenge being a big guy and having such high insulin resistance as I do. I wanted to do a little bit more and I'll probably cap out at about 20 or so with my squats. And then I'm going to go from there. I just like the idea of always progressing with something and not letting my body get used to it. Even though this isn't designed as a workout, it's just designed to burn into my blood sugar. I really want to keep upping the activity because I want to get that fasting insulin lowered. And that is also helping me heal faster. So I think they go hand in hand. So they go hand in hand. It's a really beneficial time for me to do this. I couldn't do it before because I had a huge scar down my leg for the first two months of my surgery that was too fresh and I couldn't do squats during that time. But after that, I just started getting active again. But I can't get too active because I can't let my scar get moist. Because if I go out and start sweating during a workout, this scar I have on my chest will start getting infected. It's no different than taking a shower. That moisture just is a breeding ground for bacteria on a scar. So I don't want to risk anything like that. So this is perfect for me at this time. All these squats, not enough to build up a sweat, not enough to get out of breath, but enough to burn through the blood sugar. So let me know how you're doing on your challenge so far. I hope you're doing well. Take care.